Today we are going to be reviewing how to draw an eye. When you start, you're going to start with your football shape. The shape of your football is going to depend on the shape of the eye that you are drawing. And you want to make sure you get the shape right before you move on. So I've got my football shape here. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add two parentheses. Okay, that go from the top of my eye to the bottom of my eye. And this is going to be the iris of my eye. And inside of our iris, we have our pupil. And then to make the eye realistic, you need a reflection. The reflection is going to go from the pupil to the iris. Okay, and that is the part that's really going to help make the eye look very realistic. We want to make sure that the reflection stays the white of the paper. You don't want to add any kind of value inside of that reflection. We are then going to add our tear duct, and this is going to determine if this is the left or the right eye. The tear duct goes on the inside of your eye, the part that's closest to the nose. Okay, I'm going to make this be my left eye here, and I'm going to add a tear duct on that side there. This is just kind of a little U shape that comes off the tip of that football there, and that becomes the tear duct. My nose then would be over on this side. I am going to start shading. Our, pu our pupil, as we know, should be dark so when we're talking our value scale that darkest shade is going to be our pupil then the color of your iris is really going to depend on the color of your eye if you have a dark brown eye it's going to be a lot darker than maybe a light blue eye so that's just going to depend on the type of eye that you are drawing and i'm going to start by adding some little veins because if you look inside of the iris of the eye there are some little veins in there so I'm going to add those in and then I'm going to add my shade to this and I'm going to use my blending tool and my pencil palette to do this and remember that we don't want to press very hard with our um, blending tool it's all about how much pencil dust we pick up on it and we place on our paper it's not anything to do with how hard we press and I am trying to stay away from that um, reflection because I want that to stay the white of the paper. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in my um, eyelid, which is just going to be a small light line above my eye. And you could maybe even add that in with your uh, blending tool if you wanted. It's really going to be a nice light line above the eye. Next we have to add in eyelashes and your eyelashes are always going to go out towards your ear and then up. So when I do this I'm going to go start at the eyelid here and go up and out. In the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go out towards that ear and down. Okay, and those are not going to be very long. Okay, I could then just add, finish up any touch-ups with my values. 